Last year I was late with my Age of Ultron review, so why not carry that trend this year with Civil War? I mean, that's just who I am. Captain America Civil War is the first film in Phase 3 of the Marvel Cinematic Universe and many consider it to be Avengers 2.5 while others consider it to be Captain America 3. When the government decides to make accords that say that the Avengers can only be used under government approval, it starts a civil war between Iron Man and Captain America. Iron Man is definitely on board with his idea, but following up the events of Hydra and Captain America the Winter Soldier, Captain America is obviously against it. And as I said, from then on begins a civil war between Iron Man and Captain America as well as the best MCU film to date. Now, I'm not going to mince words with you. I absolutely loved this movie. Now, before you start freaking out and commenting, you know, he's just a fanboy, you know, he loves every movie. I mean, if you ask any of my friends, they can tell you that I am not one to freak out at superhero movies in the slightest. Hell, I will even say, and I know this might get a lot of hate, but I will even say that I think The Winter Soldier is a tad bit overrated. Civil War is an intense action-packed thrill ride that kept me enthralled from beginning to end. Now, in here we have a lot of characters. We obviously have the main two, Iron Man and Captain America. We also have Black Panther, Spider-Man, Hawkeye, Black Widow, and a medley of others. And I think it's needless to say that everyone does fantastic here. Now, if you went into this movie siding with someone at first, like I did, I sided with Captain America, you're going to walk out and you're going to be like, you know what, I actually understand understand both sides very well. Like for instance, there will be some scenes where you're like, yes, 100% I agree with you Captain America, but then there's going to be another scene that like directly follows it that you're just like, you know what, Iron Man does make a good point, so um, I don't really know if I can pick a side now. And everyone else in this podcast here does great as well. One of them that really stuck out to me though was Black Panther being played by Chadwick Boseman. I thought he did a great job. You understand his character's motivation. His suit is awesome. He fights like a badass. And overall, you really do think that there's no one better that can play him than Chadwick Boseman. Now let's talk about the one that I was absolutely dreading to see, which was Tom Holland's Spider-Man. I gotta say that he actually did a really good job here. He plays up the teenage persona really well here. His character really fits. And whenever he interjects or says a one-liner, it always hits. I still need time to think about if he was better than Tobey Maguire, but as of now, nonetheless, he did a fantastic job. This movie also proves that the Russo brothers are ready to direct Infinity War. To day for an MCU movie, this is definitely the best action we've seen. Everything is choreographed so well, and it looks extremely realistic. I mean, you can get mad that there's some, like, fast jump cuts, but I don't know. It's just all edited together really well, and I was never like, oh my god, I have whiplash from watching the action scenes. I was always just attached on screen. I was like, this is, this is amazing. And, of course, the airport scene, by far the best in the movie, but that's not saying much because every other scene is phenomenal as well. Screenplay is also solid here. You can understand both sides of the argument and you're able to empathize with each of them. One problem that I had with the movie though was Daniel Bruhl's character Zemo who's like the villain in the movie. I mean, he, he kind of just feels like he was like shoehorned in there at the very end. I know he was like behind the scenes for a lot of the movie but I feel like if his like kind of like story just was cut out and they just had the civil war just take place I, this probably would have been a perfect 10 out of 10 movie and probably my best movie of the year, but his, his storyline was very unnecessary and it felt really rushed at the end because it's like wrapped up in the last 30 minutes and it's like whoa, 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 whoa. Overall though, I absolutely love the film and it's without a doubt the best MCU film I've seen so far. With all that said, I'm going to give Captain America Civil War an A. Thank you all so much for watching and until my next review, I'm Random Mr. 411. I will see you all later.